happy month of May to everyone. I'm figuring out that it's a pretty big deal here. Uh, so looking forward to having a great month of May and kicked off obviously work committee camp yesterday. Thought uh, guys flew around pretty good. It was a good first day and we're continue to work on that every single day. Jay, where is Anthony with the, with the playbook at this point? How long does it normally take for a guy to get up to speed? Yeah, I think all guys are different, uh, but he's been tremendous so far. You know, he's done a nice job uh, taking in the information we've given him uh, slowly. Uh, we keep, you know, stacking those days and keep going, but he's done a nice job. How, how, how much do you put on his play versus others this week just because – He's yeah, I think any, no matter what quarterback it is, whatever position it is, right, we're just getting these guys to learn the system, the plays. We're not installing everything right now. We're working on alignment, assignment, key technique right now, and just and really just building the chemistry. That's kind of our goal right now is to learn the playbook, learn what's in, and build the chemistry. Hey, just, uh, just one uh, additional thing on that note. I don't know exactly what they asked the quarterback to do at Florida, but obviously what you'll ask them to do is differently. Just from, just from a you know, play calling standpoint, um, taking what's from the sideline, that sort of thing. How much adjustment does he have in that regard? Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I've said this before, but I think all guys learn differently, right? Some guys are audio learners, some guys are rep learners, some guys are visual learners, and that's our job as coaches to figure that out. And then once we have that as coaches master and how he sees it, that's kind of how we attack each day uh, from a mental standpoint. And whatever he does best, we'll put him in position to do that. What, so he had a lot of work. what type of learner is he? We're working on that right now, but visual, right? Visual learner, right? He's an audience, he's a little bit of everything right now, but again, we're still working through that process. What have you noticed about his presence around the building over the last couple of days? He's got a great presence about him. He's got a great bounce in his step. He's always smiling, always got great energy, enthusiastic. And I think when you have that, I think players around him will feed off it, but it's been really good to see. Yeah, I know post Florida, he did a lot of work with various quarterback coaches. Do you just try to continue that? Do you try to change some of that? Where are you at, I guess, technique-wise? Yeah, I think all, a lot of guys in this league have, you know, quarterback coaches that they go to off-season stuff to work on fundamentals and details. And then really for me is, is really honing in on learning the system. Uh, and then footwork-wise, it's really about the concept that we're throwing. Do we want to take a five-step drop? Do we want to take a three-step drop right here? Where are your eyes? How do we want this ball thrown? Do we want it firm with an arc over a linebacker? Or if it's a man-to-man -man coverage, we've got to throw that thing firm with no arc. Uh, we're just working through all those things right now. There was a moment yesterday in uh, individual where you like went over to him, kind of mimic something in between a rep. Is that just drilling like, OK, we want you to do this, or is that? Yeah, we're just talking, having conversation, you know, how I see it, how he sees it. And we're, we're, we're working through all those things right now. Before the, the draft, draft, you talked about wanting guys who are obsessed with their craft and love the process. I don't know if you heard about, but uh, Josh and Anthony went out and, and threw the football for a while in, in the hotel parking lot uh, the night before rookie minicamp. Uh, did you hear about that? And is that the kind I of did, I did. I did hear about that. Uh, I think that's awesome. I think when those guys start that chemistry earlier and just want to be all football and talk football and throw football in the parking lot, I think that's tremendous to, uh, to get that going. What did you think of the connection between those two just early on? Um, I mean, obviously, Josh caught a lot of balls in North Carolina, and it seems like he'd be a nice security blanket for any quarterback in the league. Yeah, there's no question. I think Josh is a very crafty route runner. He's savvy. Um, he's got great quickness in and out of breaks. He's got a really good feel for routes and zones and finding dead spots. Uh, but really excited to see those two work together coming up. Hey, what's the plan of Blake Freeland early on? I know he played multiple spots at BYU. Yeah, I'm not going to get into specific positions, but really just come in and compete. Come in and compete, and that's the main goal right now. Shane, with uh, Richardson and a lot of the rookies, are they here now, or do they have to be gone with – after the rookie minute. Yeah, they're, they're here right now, and then they got to go away for a couple days, and then they come right back. It's part of the so league. he will be back soon, I mean? Oh, yeah, they'll be back real soon. Yeah, they'll be back real soon. Yep. Um, Emo, um, EQR from Alabama. Um, yeah. What do you think of just having an opportunity to bring him in as an undrafted free agent and see what he's got? Yeah, no, I think it's great. Um, you know, he's a he's a big, powerful man. You know, he's learning the system right now. Good competitor, obviously, had a heck of a career at Alabama, uh, but really excited to have him right now. What, how does Anthony handle uh, just the, being a quarterback and the focal point of the draft class? You know, all that comes with a lot. He doesn't seem to be phased by it at all. Do you, do you have any observations of that? Yeah, no, I think that's a true statement. Uh, I think, again, he's coming in every day attacking this thing, right? Obviously, it's new for him, but he's attacking every single day uh, like a pro, and we just got to continue that and be consistent with it every single day. How much did they put on his plate, like protection-wise, line of scrimmage? Yeah, no, they did some things with him. Obviously, he had some uh, rain at the line of scrimmage to change some protection stuff, but they did some stuff with him there. Uh, and then we'll do some stuff with him here. 
your hands on in person and going for practice with him the first time you learned anything about him yesterday you didn't know maybe before? Uh, I mean, I know he has really good playmaking ability, and again, we're just still learning that. It's been one day of practice, so obviously today's day two, and we'll continue to learn each other, and we'll go from there. I know the protection stuff is way down the road, mm -hmm. and obviously we're not there yet, but how hard is that part uh, you know, for, for your rookie quarterbacks to adapt to? Yeah, I think it depends on the looks, you know, what you're getting defensively, you know, the structure of the defense. Obviously, if you get some oddball looks, you know, that's where you really, really got to be wired in. But just know where your problems are is the biggest thing, right? Know where, you're, know where you might have to throw a hot route from and know where you got to be protected. And I think that's the biggest part of teaching protections. How much is maybe too much like, for example, watching him yesterday, makes a couple throws, misses a couple throws, but how do you just help him keep, stay even keel when obviously he wants to be great as soon as possible? Yeah, I think with anything, any all quarterbacks will miss throws. I mean, it happens all the time, right? Shoot, just move on to the next play, right? It's a next play mentality. Shoot, I made a bad play. Shoot, wipe it out of your brain, go on to the next one. But I thought he had a heck of a day yesterday for the first day being out here.